Nigga sending me an address to a motherfucking. Look at this. Nigga sent me an address to a shopping mall. Man, this nigga's a hoe. This lame ass nigga, man. Man, this nigga rich is a hoe. He's scared. He don't want to fight, bro. Scary ass nigga, bro. Don't, don't ever play with me, nigga. Don't ever play with me like you tough, bro. You, you was a bitch. You're not tough, nigga. Don't ever play with me, nigga. Don't ever disrespect me, nigga. You're not tough, nigga. I pull up to address. Nigga sent me to a fucking shopping mall. This nigga rich don't want to fight, bro. All that shit. All that tough shit. Remember, I know you, bro. I know you, bro. I remember. I was there when Cardi was finna beat your ass, nigga. I know you, bro. I know you, bro. Don't play with me, bro. Don't play with me, bro. You you don't you don't want to get into that, bro. You don't want to get into that, bro. And you know that, bro. You don't want to get into that. Take all that all that shit, funny games, bro. You don't want to get into that. Don't ever disrespect me, nigga. Ever, ever. All right. In a weird turn of events, matter of fact, I'm not even gonna call it weird in this era. Nothing surprised me or anything I talk about anymore because this is just, yo, dude. This, does this look cool to you guys? Look, Rich the Kid and YB and Almighty J. They were just together, literally shooting for one record. They were shooting a music video to it or previewing a record, right? They just shot a music video to another record. They were just together two days ago, and now they're beefing. Does, does this, like, not look crazy to y'all that this is, like, the, the you guys don't have any morals, right? Like, there's, there's no morals in this shit anymore. Does that not look crazy? I, I would never be previewing my record to somebody. By the way, in the preview for the record... Rich the Kid is rapping about YBN Almighty J's reportedly his girl, Black China. YBN Almighty J is literally rapping the verse that Rich the Kid spit word for word. And Rich is talking about Black China's uh, head being whack, right? Like, y'all was just together doing this. Now, what, 24 hours later, y'all beefing? This just doesn't feel real. If it is real, I, I don't know what's worse. The fact that y'all could A, be making up a fake beef, or B, you guys could beef with each other 24 hours after being with each other, kicking and shooting music videos and previewing new music. Both of these are corny, by the way. But like I said, this era, I, I, I you see stuff like this every damn day. Salute to YB and Almighty J. I really like a, a lot of his records. Um, Rich the Kid, not so much. I'm not a big Rich the Kid fan. But I will admit that, that that brother's hot as a campfire right now. You know, he's got an album coming out. And um, it looks like he's got some beef. A lot of people calling this beef fake. I'm going to talk about that in the next hour or so. Um, these two are reportedly beefing. And I don't know what the, the general gist of the beef is. A lot of people are like, YBN Almighty J didn't catch that. He was talking about Black China, YBN's girl in the record. Even though it's clear as day, Richard Kidd said, the pussy was wet like China head. You know what I mean? Like, it was clear as day. Um, a lot of people believe that the two got into it over uh, Rich the Kid. I think I see some text messages of Rich the Kid. Maybe Son and 